Hi everybody, I'm Bethany R. Lindell, and today I'm going to try something new. So uh, I have been working in my studio, being an artist and a writer, and today I wanted to introduce you to the Indigo Bookworm. So, as you can see here, bookworms are essentially dragons. However, they, uh, they don't collect all of those jewels and gold and, and gem-like things. Just so gaudy. What they collect is words. That is their whole hoard. It's words and descriptions, adverbs, nouns. Oh, they're just so glorious and beautiful and they love them. Now, because they love their words, a bookworm does not get his or her name until they are a year old. So they're yearlings, which is what the indigo wera is now. And she is just about to go through the naming ceremony to find her name. The idea is that they all have their own personal perfect name that is theirs, but they have to go find it. But since she doesn't have it yet, Everyone calls her the Indigo Weera, or the Indigo Bookworm. And the Indigo Bookworm herself, she's, she's not full grown, being a yearling, so she's only about as long as your forearm, from nose to tail tip. So she's actually very small. The indigo wera is not the most outgoing of bookworms. For a yearling, she's not the biggest. She's not the smallest. She's not the most beautiful. She's rather small, rather plain. She doesn't have these fancy horns or these decorations on her head or around her ears like her friends do, or the other yearlings do. And so she just has these big overgrown ears and they're kind of ragged. And she's got these big overgrown wings and she's constantly tripping over them. And so she'll just go on her way and all oh, flat on her face. Yeah, I'm afraid she's uh, rather on the clumsy side. <laughs> And so she's uh, she's at a very awkward stage in her life. We've all been there, or we all will be there, depending on where you are. She's rather plain for a young bookworm, and she really easily just fades into the background and uh, her indigo dark coloring probably helps with that. But she doesn't really try to change it. She doesn't put herself out there because she's very soft-spoken, very awkward, like I said, very, very uncertain of herself. However, she's also very kind and very thoughtful, and she's also very protective of her sister and her best friend, and she is very close to her mother right now. She loves her mother, but she's a little clingy since her father, the uh, the lost gray, disappeared. And they have good reason to suspect that he's dead. He went out of the chapter on a, a mission of sorts, and he never came back. And so that wasn't so long ago for her. And so it's a very hard time in her life. She's She doesn't have her name like all the other bookworms do. She's only has her mother. She has a younger sister who she calls Pips, uh, but no one else can call her Pips because it's short for Pipsqueak. And no one else can call the Indigo Weera Indy like Pips can, which is, uh, that one's short for Indigo. Her favorite stories and her favorite words are the really 
adventurous ones. She loves the old stories, especially the ones her father used to tell her. Pip still begs for her to tell her them. But since her father disappeared, she just hasn't wanted to tell them as much. They make her sad and miss him. And she does. She wants to escape and be adventurous and be daring. But she doesn't know how. She doesn't know how to do any of those things. And she's even starting to believe she can't be any of those things. But I don't think that's true. I know her uh, her mother and her sister don't think that's true either. She's probably most like herself and not just kind of invisible and withdrawn when she is with Pips. Pips already thinks she's brave and adventurous and she loves the Indigo stories about pirates and flying squirrels and these strange and wondrous things that they've never seen with their own eyes because they don't live in the forest. But even Pips has noticed that Indigo is much more of a worrywart than she used to be and she now she's starting to hear things like, you shouldn't do that because you could get hurt and uh, it's dangerous. And so even Pips is like, oh, Indy, don't be such a worrywart. So the Indigo Wear story is still unfolding. However, she wants to be brave and she's going to get her chance, but uh, she's not going to like it very much. It's hard to be brave, especially when you really, really need to. And so I hope you guys, I hope everyone out there uh, wants to know more about her. She is a wonderful little bookworm, very shy, but very sweet. And I hope you guys are excited to learn more about her upcoming adventures. Uh, follow my channel here for more videos from me. But please also check out my website, www.bethanyrlindell.com. And I'm going to just try and put everything I can there if that's interesting. That should be a big necessary thing. Everything that's interesting there on my website. And if you subscribe to my website, you will get the first chapter of my upcoming book, my newest upcoming book, The, uh, the Hybridian Way. But for more information about Indigo and Pips and, and their adventures and all that wonderful fun stuff that I'm so excited about, you should definitely check out my website. Bye.